Welcome back. So this video is a little bit different and I thought it would be fun to challenge my sister Emily to a $25 budget for five nights of dinner for her and her family. She has herself, her husband, and her three girls. So this is going to be fun. And the reason I decided to do this is because everybody, every person can come up with something different. If you give me $25 and I have to come up with five nights of dinner for my family, it's going to be totally different from what my sister will come up with. So, just to get a little bit of diversity to see what she can come up with, plus I thought it would be fun, I asked her if she would do this for my channel and she was like, sure, I've asked her for like a month. She finally did it. <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I will be doing some little interjections in the middle of this because that's what I do because... I'm a sister. I'm going to annoy her. But anyways, without any further ado, she's going to start with a couple clips of her and my niece Hattie shopping. By the way, she forgot to include this in her clips, but I will explain it to you. She had a $25 budget. She spent $15 the first round, and then the next morning she went and picked up the hamburger meat and a couple other things that you'll see. And it was around $10 for all of that. So total, she spent $25. And I told her that she could use pantry items, like common pantry goods, like salt, pepper, seasonings that she had. If she has oil, if she has, like for us, for in the South, pantry staples, flour, cornmeal, you know, things like that. So I told her she could use all of that because that is a pantry staple. And I wanted to say what she could come up with, which is 25 bucks in her pantry staples. So without any further ado, let's get the show on the road. Are you splashing in the puddles? Yeah. So we're going shopping, right? Yeah. It's dark and rainy. Yeah. Howdy. Hi. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> We came to Walmart late, didn't we, honey? Well, it's not late. It's like 7 o'clock. Well, that's late for us, isn't it? We, we went to Walmart late. Yeah, we got up on some gas potatoes. Do you think you know where the gas potatoes are? I don't really know. I don't know either. <laughs> oh, there's beets. Oh, so we got to put this on pause and find the potatoes. Like, we got to. They're all the way up there. Potatoes. Put it in. Gently. Oh, you made a tower. Okay. Put it in. I'm gonna make a tower. Well, that's gonna fall, so maybe we should stack it down easily. Good job. What? What you got? Um, these carrots. What is it? Oh, okay. There we go. Ah. <laughs> It landed on a pinto bean. It's fine. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> zucchini. You know what zucchini is. It's green, kind of like a cucumber, not as hardly. I okay, did not maybe know. Maybe we need to branch out on our vegetables. <laughs> Don't blow so, Wait. Here, let's scan this one first to get it out of your way. Wait, Try again. Wait. I didn't do it. That one was hard. Can I do this one? Yep. I'm sure I won't get it. Where is it? Here. Here we go. Oh, can we get the bill? Oh, can we get the bill? <laughs> <laughs> Say we're bluey people. Ah! Okay. Oh, I'm going to need to start Okay, down. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's see. 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 let us other tortilla, um, like social tortillas, and then my ground beef. So all of this, I've got enough to make my five meals, um, minus my ground beef, and then my tortillas. Um, I want to include my tortillas in the price because I already paid for them. I've just got to return them to get different ones because they were gross. <laughs> but everything here was fifteen dollars like right at around fifteen dollars like mm -hmm. fourteen ninety two I think mm -hmm. vegetables pinto beans um onion biscuit cheese cream of mushroom tomato sauce cheddar cheese diced potatoes and um other potatoes 
my plan is to make five meals. I'll tell you what meals we're making as we go along. I and mean, of course I'm using stuff out of my cabinets like staple food, seasonings, um, things like that. All right, okay. So for our first little thing, we've all been under the weather. I'm telling y'all, this sick season has kicked our butts. Like, kicked our butts. So we're gonna make some comfort food. This is what, like my one of my favorite things ever. And it's so simple. My mamma used to make it for us all the time. Still one of my, like, if I'm on my deathbed or like, you know, you know, people have the death row meals. Like this would probably be my death row meal. Like I need some soup. I love soup. Y'all know I love soup. But this one is like comfort food. My mamma used to make it for us. Still does when we come over. Tater mater soup is all it's called. Chiming in here to say, I hate most soups. Emily's a weirdo. <laughs> She loves soup. You know, my opinion. Well, I love soup. I just hate vegetable soup. I hate tomato-based soups. But, y'all, the tater mater soup is the only soup I will eat that is tomato-based. Mamma, just chef's kiss. Um, it works better if you have, like, homemade canned tomato juice. But we make do because I don't have any. But, yeah, we've all been, like, super sick under the weather. Like, Hattie's had strep, like, twice in a month. Uh, twice in a month, ha, three times in like a month and a half or two. We've had flu, we've had stomach virus, we've had everything. And we are still not feeling too well, like just, you know, cruddy stuff. So comfort food it is. And this is the simplest recipe, but I'm telling y'all, it's so good. It's so good. Like it's just one of my happy foods. Okay. Literally all you need, taters. Okay, good deal. Taters, an onion. Um, tomato sauce and some water. I also make like some cornbread or something with it because oh yes yum. Okay, okay we're going to be tossing everything in our instant pot just because I accidentally spilled some in there already because um, I forgot to record but I'm going to throw our tomato sauce in there. Whoop. 29 ounce and then fill her up with water throw her in and you might come use a little extra water i tend to put because the like the soupy part is supposed to be thin like we want it thin we're going to go ahead and season oh, i forgot my seasoning hey, we be heating up we go real simple on the seasonings people pepper i like a lot of pepper like the simpler the better i'm gonna do some pepper Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of salt. Some salt. I don't use salt and pepper shakers. And like a tiny bit of nature season. Okay. Um, I have rough <laughs> cut some potatoes. We're fixing to slice them and throw them in. I've got my onion ready. I hate peeling potatoes. Fun fact about me. I hate peeling potatoes. I flash back to when I would try to peel them at home and my dad would be like, you're peeling the tater away, Emily. You're wasting the whole thing. Like, I hate peeling potatoes. Hi, everybody. So, I'm just chiming in here to let you know this is absolutely 1,000% true. My dad would always fuss at me and Emily and say, You're peeling the tater away. Don't waste them taters. He would want us to have the thinnest skin off of the tater. And it was so hard. It's still so hard. But yes, she is correct. I just do it as quick as I can. I don't care if there's a little peel on it. It's good for you. It's full of nutrients. They don't look pretty, but they're fine. <laughs> I, I, I do hate peeling a potato, though. So we're going to rough chop them, throw them in, and then set the timer. Okay, and that's literally it. Salt, pepper, potatoes, onions. I used about five small to medium sized potatoes, rough chopped and tossed them in. One small onion, tossed it in. Like I said, we used tomato sauce, watered it down, salt, pepper, some nature seasoning. We are going to pressure cook for like 10 minutes and then do an instant release. I got a new pressure cooker. Ah, or an instant pot on a pressure cooker. Oh Lord. Okay. So 10 minutes, instant release. I'm gonna try to make some cornbread with what I got in the cabinet 
and there we go uh, how are you me again okay so making cornbread i literally always have everything in my cabinet to make cornbread self rising flour cornmeal milk oil like it's your basics and i don't have a recipe i feel like i just finally perfected my cornbread in like the last couple of years <laughs> it was so i just literally eyeball everything um we fly by the seat of our pants here in my house so Oh my gosh, I'm trying to do this one-handed. This is... Eh. Okay, hold on. Disaster. I want to make a big batch because this week we are also going to have soup beans and taters. Okay. That looks about enough for a big batch. Woo! Something fell. I'm struggling, people. It's fine. Okay, so cornmeal. I do... Not really equal. Oh, we're gonna finish up this whole bag. Kind of equal parts, I guess, but a little bit more cornmeal and a little more for, more flour. It's fine. That looks fine. <laughs> Salt, pepper, lots of it. Lots of it. Controversial, probably. But a little bit of sugar. Just a little bit. Like not much at all. I think I'm going to have to open up one of my other um, things of cornmeal. Oh! <laughs> People, this is pure chaos. Hold on. Okay, we're recovering from disaster. <laughs> it's fine. Added a little bit more cornmeal. So, um... A little bit more cornmeal than flour, but equal parts. I only do one egg, because one egg holds it together good enough. Um, maybe, depending on your batch, a half a cup to a cup of milk. I did about a cup in this one. And the secret ingredient, people, add a little bit of oil in your batter. And we're going to add a little bit of water, too, because it makes it fluffy. And my whisk broke. Like, this is turning into pure chaos. Okay, I'm going to have to put the phone down to stir it. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, this is the consistency I like my cornbread mixed to be. Everybody does different. Everybody has their own kind of style. It's fine. Just do whatever you like. Some people like theirs a little bit thicker. This is what I like mine. It's still lumpy. I'm going to have to whisk some more. My whisk handle broke. <sighs> it's fine. Okay, but another tip. While you're making your cornbread, you're going to get your iron skillet and you're going to add oil into it. You're going to put it in your oven and let it preheat. That way, when we pour this in, it's going to sizzle when we pour it in. Okay, we're going to do it. Okay. See? We sizzle. Okay, I got to put the phone on to finish. <laughs> do we see the sizzle? Ah, yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. We're gonna throw it in the oven. We're gonna cook it till it's golden brown. And then we're gonna eat it with our soup. That's got eight minutes left, woohoo! Okay, so here's our finished stuff, our cornbread, our tater mater soup, patties. <laughs> Bradley's already got her um, cornbread crumpled up in hers. Delicious. We just got back from school. Look in a hot mess, but it's fine. Yeah. And there's mine. I'm gonna crumble mine up. This is the way you have to eat it. And then we're gonna try it as soon as it cools because whoo, it's hot. Yeah. That's good. I told you it's our favorite, isn't it? It's a there's delicious. A lot of corn like <laughs> super simple and super yummy. Me. I'm so excited. I think Emily was having a chaotic day <laughs> because uh, it froze right here. But she's making a veggie pot pie. I told her that I was going to keep this part in the video just because it was funny. <laughs> so she's okay with it, y'all. But she is making a veggie pot pie with a homemade gravy. Okay, so I've made my gravy. Uh, I'm I spared you all from watching me make the gravy. It got really, <laughs> um, my whisk broke. I bought a new whisk and my new whisk broke. So I had to do it with a fork and it was very difficult, but I'm dumping my veggies in. I got a can of potatoes I'm gonna put into um, 98 cent vegetables. Like I 
had my stuff, my chicken and war cubes that you cubes that you can get like twenty for a buck. I used one of them, made my broth, made my gravy just with a little roux, and poured my broth on top. Patties in the background. I'm gonna dump my potatoes in, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, I have got my nice canned potatoes. This is really funny because um, Emily accidentally recorded this in slow motion. So she sounds like a robot in slow motion. Anyways, so she said that she usually rinses off her canned potatoes and water first and then dumps them in. And she is going to add a big old dash of measures dash. <laughs> Oh, wait, you got to pull the tab first. Hattie's helping me open my biscuits because it gives me a mild heart attack every time. Yeah, you still got to pull it more. Oh, I've also got the stove off. This has cooled down, so she's going to help. Help me. Okay, hold Oh, gosh, Hattie makes me nervous. Okay, hold your horses. Hold you. Right, put yes. It oh, you got two. Oh, sorry. Let's break it apart. Hattie is helping. Okay. So, we got our biscuits open, didn't we? Yeah. So, I'm not going to tell you who's going louder when it popped. <laughs> no. This is so hard. I think you got it. Good job. Uh, this one's going to be easy. Easy peasy. Uh. Good job. I, I think you got enough. Wait, we need one more. Yes, we need like probably three more. Three? Yes, there's some on the other side. I know. All right, we got it, didn't we? Punch a cool. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, oh, we're fixing it. Oh, you're done. single sis. Good job. Oh, we're fixing to put it in the oven. I spilled salt everywhere. Any more of my stove or una, flour. Dos, One tre, of the two. Una, dos, tres, cuatro. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete. Siete. All right, here is it all done. Golden and bubbly. Golden. <laughs> I burn it a little bit, but I'm going to eat those parts because I actually like my biscuits. The top's a little burnt like that. I might be weird, um, but it looks pretty good. I'm going to plate it up and then we're going to eat because we're starved. <sighs> okay, make a close up. Sorry. I don't look good. We just don't feel good, y'all. We've had strep again and we're just, so we're comfort food to get this week. You're warm and cozy, but let's see. <laughs> Potatoes. It's pretty good. It hits the spot. It does. Like, the girls are eating it pretty well. Hattie's pretty picky, so she likes it that says something. Like, for real. This is really delicious. McKinley doesn't want to be on camera. I'm not going to make her. But this is pretty good. I will give it like 7 out of 10. Pretty good. Is it hot? Do you want your mouth closed? It's good looking. Wait. No? Yeah, go ahead and try it. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> We're making. Okay, so do not judge me for the way I say this. I am from the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. And I saw this on TikTok and I was like, ooh, that looks really good. My gray hair is shining. My gray hair is shining. Okay, <laughs> but it's what I have looked at. I might be wrong. If I am, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to mess with anybody's culture, but it's picadillo. And like, you can hide vegetables in it for your kids. And like, you just throw in a pot and it's kind of like, I don't want to say a poor man's meal, but it's like quick and easy and cheap. So, and everybody has their own different version, so that's what we're going to make. Okay, but I have, I have my stuff. I have my stuff. I should prop, or let me turn the camera around. We've got three potatoes, some ground beef, a zucchini, a little bit of thing of tomato sauce, and some tortillas. We're going to use half of this. Um, our potatoes, I bought in a pack. The ground beef I got for like three ninety something. It's like a pound and a, almost a pound and a half. And then this is like a quarter an Aldi. Okay. But here we go. I'm going to peel my taters. I've already told y'all I hate peeling taters. But here we go. I'm going to get my zucchini ready and all that. I have decided to put this in my instant pot just to see what happens. 
I've never, hmm, we're just gonna see. I've got it in here. I want to chop up my ground beef. I've got some garlic in here. I always keep garlic, minced garlic on hand in the fridge. Um, I buy it in bulk. We love garlic. And we're going to go ahead and season too. I'm going to do some paprika. I love paprika. The more the better. Onion powder. A little bit of salt. I'm getting everything everywhere. Oh, my cumin is not open. Hold on. Probably not much of that. Oh, uh, that might be too much. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine, y'all. <sighs> That's what we're going to start with. Okay, I'm going to peel my taters now. I snorted some cumin up my nose on accident. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm not such an awkward angle. It's fine. We are going to cut up our taters. I'm just doing a rough chop, y'all. We're just going to chop them, them things and throw them in. Most everything says diced. But we're just doing a rough chop. It's fine. I'm probably giving a lot of people a mild heart attack with my knife skills. It's okay. Just cut it the best you can. We're going for edible, not perfection. Well, hopefully good and edible, but not perfection. And I did decide to swap out. I wanted to keep under my little $25 budget. I didn't want to make a difference at all. And I did decide to swap out my can of tomato sauce for some of my tomato bouillon stuff. And we're going to use that in water so I can add some carrots in it as well. And I won't go over my budget. That way we can have some more veggies in there because I saw another video where people had some carrots and it looked really good. So, we're going to do that. But I probably won't add my carrots in since I'm using my Instant Pot until like the very end because I don't want them to turn to straight up mush. Y'all are seeing like my southern roots at its finest with these knife skills and these potatoes. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put the zucchini in. I might just use half depending on what it looks like. This zucchini was, oops, zucchini. I said the zucchini was super cheap. It was just like 48 cents and it was a good size. Let's use the whole thing. I expected it to be a little bit more because it's a summer vegetable, and I thought, well, it's winter now pretty much, but like 40 cents, yay me. Okay, so we got all of that in. I'm going to wash this off and use it. Don't judge me. It's okay. okay. So I made my little tomato mixture. I just toss everything in a mason jar and stir it to tea. One teaspoon to one cup. I've got two cups of water, so teaspoon, teaspoon. We're gonna pour it in. And we're gonna throw a little bit more of our seasonings in. Some more, maybe a little more cumin paprika and maybe a little bit more salt, just a little. Okay, and that's it. And we're gonna let it cook, pressure cook for 10 minutes until the vegetables are tender. We're gonna add our carrots in at the end because it is canned carrots. And that's that. Okay, we are instant releasing this baby. And then we are gonna dump our carrots in, let it heat up for just a few minutes, and then bone apple teeth, y'all. Bone apple teeth. Okay, <laughs> this is very anticlimactic. I thought we were closer to it being, I have gotten this thing so dirty. I've got it right under the cabinet that I have my flour and stuff in, and every time I open it, it just sprinkles flour. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Let's get going. Oh, my Lanta. Nachos. 
I am so sorry. This is taking 25,000 years. 25,000 years. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Still going. Still going. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yes. Yum. Yum. Let's get some carrots in. Some carrots. Stir this thing around. Oh, Lord. I can't stay in focus for nothing. And we're just going to heat this up for a little bit. I want to put it back on saute. And again, this is just my version, y'all. So if you make this, I, and I'm not, I promise I'm not dissing all cultures. I promise I'm not trying to take it away. I am not trying. I, I, I just thought it looked good, and this is what I could come up with. <laughs> so I don't mean to butcher a recipe, I promise. But I'm going to saute it for a little bit. We're going to put it back on, and we're going to heat this stuff up the carrots up and then we're gonna eat it i'm so excited i also have my cheese i shredded shredded cheese and yes okay my turn to try i think i've got a big glob of cheese I like you do. that is really good it is. it's like super simple but super good it made a lot. Like, it made a lot of food. Like, honestly, we could make another meal out of it. It made so much. It's really good. Like, you could add a lot of stuff to it, too, and change it and just make it whatever you want. It's super good. Like, I'll make this again because the girls are loving it. Okay, Hattie Anderson. Tell me how it is. Try bite. Try bite. It's delicious, and I give you a 10 out of 10. Ooh, okay. Okay, Riley. It's good. Riley Madeline. Okay, we just got back home from school. We're all a little, oh, you know, you'll get some paper towels. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Kenny, take a bite. Pretty good? You like it? Can I get a thumbs up? <laughs> I give you a 10 out of a 10. A 10 out of 10. Kenny just woke up from a nap, I think, and this is what we got. Can I uh, tell something? Oh, it all fell out. Put that on top of your head. You're trying to beat your brains out trying to get to it. Oh my gosh, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> we made a joke. I said, Jake doesn't eat vegetables. Like, for real, doesn't eat any. I'm just going to record you eating while I talk. <laughs> just, continue. <laughs> just continue. Just <laughs> continue. But I said, that's a good recipe. Just so he can, I can have vegetables in his diet. Because he doesn't eat anything other than corn. And that's on occasion. <laughs> all right, friends. So, we're making our fourth meal. And this is all you're going to need. I've never tried this before. I'm really excited about this. So, potatoes. I got like, four cut can of cream of mushrooms, can of cheddar cheese soup, some ground beef, and our other half of the block of shredded cheese. Okay, we're gonna throw it together. You, I think you just brown your ground beef, toss in your potatoes, your soup mixes, and then um, cook it, bake it, top it with cheese, and you're done. And of course, season. What does it say, Kenny? Hot mama. Hot mama. Okay. <laughs> McKinley just called me a hot mama. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's season our ground beef. We're going to use some paprika. Okay, some onion powder. Go ahead and try to stir some of it up. Hot mama. See, listen, y'all. Hot mama. <laughs> Probably because I'm sweating profusely over the stove, but it's fine. Oh, this is white paper, by the way. Sorry. And put on some of this. We're just going to put some of this in there in the cabinet. Smoky mesquite seasoning. I mean, it could be good. And then... Oh, I really need to buy some more salt. Okay. Let's stir this up, and then I'm going to chop my potatoes and throw it in, too. Okay, y'all. Let's cut up these taters. Remember I told you about the last one. We ain't going for pretty. Taters, 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 taters. 
We're just going for somewhat dice. Bite size. Let's say it that way. We're going for bite size box of potatoes. <laughs> Like, you know, a southern woman, when you give her a can of cream and mushroom soup and she can make a whole meal. But that's the truth. There's not much she can't make. Or, I'm so sick of cutting taters. One thing about it, our meals have been carb heavy. Not really. Whatever. Oh, this is my salt thinking. I need to do that. I didn't realize it was going to be. Okay, so we got our taters cut. I want to put a little bit more seasoning in. Just a little more. Okay. There's Hattie. Say hi. Hi. Uh -huh. She is in her winter gloves and hat. I don't know why. I don't. Okay. Kimmy is going to help us finish up our stuff. So you want to pour. Oh. Okay. It's fine. You want to pour it in? Mm -hmm. So this is our can of cream of mushroom. You gotta shake it, shake it, shake it. <gasps> yeah. Okay, and then here is our cheddar cheese. You gotta shake it, shake it, shake it. Yeah, buddy. Mama, I did shake you it. You did a good job. You wanna stir it a little? Okay. Hattie is still in her winter garb. Oh, easy. Okay, there's one that's looking like. Say hi, Kimothy. Hi. Say hi, Hattie Ray Ann. Hi. <laughs> okay, we're going to finish stirring it, and then we're going to stick it in the oven for like, I think it said 30 Mommy. minutes. Woo, I'm super close. Butter cheese, butter cheese. Butter cheese. Butter cheese. Butter cheese. Butter cheese. This is the worst thing ever. This is why I try not to buy. It does taste better. I'll admit that, but it does not, it is not convenient. Yeah, spread it around. Oh wait, I gotta leave some spread because Riley doesn't like cheese. Riley does not like shredded cheese and I don't know why because she'll eat pizza, but she won't eat shredded cheese. So many make it make sense. All right, here is my baby cheesy tater casserole. All done. I made a mess on my stove. It's fine, whatever. Okay. Looks pretty. Also, oops, I probably should have left a bigger part without the shredded cheese for Riley. I don't know why she hates it, but nah, it's okay. Okay, let's give it a twa. Uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pick them up. Maybe use a little bit more seasoning. Maybe. Yeah, but, but it's fine with that. I feel like I used a lot. Mama, it's fine. It's good, though. It's still good. Okay, I put my hair back because I look a hot mess, but we're going to try it again. Because so I don't think I see... I feel like I put a lot of seasoning on it. Like, I put a lot because I went back and I re-seasoned it, and it still doesn't taste like very much. What if this is just a realization of me having the Rona? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I really am just kidding. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> nobody judge me I put ketchup on it <laughs> we're going to see if it's better it is a little bit better I like it with ketchup okay I'll make it again are we blowing? Are we blowing? Yes, I'm oh, me. Jake's blowing too. <laughs> Again, I feel like this is the equivalent to that SpongeBob episode where SpongeBob was blowing the soup and went, no, wait, and blew um, it all over Squidward. Yeah, Patrick. Oh, it was Patrick. Remember, oh my gosh, did I get corrected on SpongeBob? Um, and um, maybe and was, good. Was, mm -hmm. it was hot. It was hot. I haven't even found it yet. Pretty good. Yeah, that's delicious. Oh. <laughs> and, um, Pretty. Oh, Lord. Right there, like, I'm it and, uh, You're not going to give a chef's kiss. <laughs> mwah. 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 Kenny doesn't want to be in this video. And unless we all want to pay the price, we're not going to bother her. <laughs> okay. So, last meal. 
we're making soup beans and we're going to use my cornbread that I made when I made or tater made our soup. So soup beans, we're going to look our beans. I'm using the instant pot. I've got it filled up like a little less than the halfway mark. Um, and we're going to pressure cook them for 45 minutes. Yeah, super easy. We're just going to look our beans first and then we're going to get to seasoning. Okay, we're looking our beans. We're making sure that nobody's rotten. There ain't no gravels. There ain't no nothing. I usually do this a little bit more meticulously, but I only got one hand, so. See, yucky beans. Oh, no, I still beans. I feel like this whole video series is just pure chaos. Fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to pick up my ones that I dropped because we're going to rinse them off. Lord have mercy. Okay. We're going to season. I poured some oil on there. We're going to put a poop ton of seasoning in it. This is smoky mesquite seasoning. Let's do some onion powder. See how long it takes before it makes me sneeze. <laughs> this is Mr. Mrs. Dash. Some kind of herb seasoning. I put everything in it. Paprika. A little bit of chili powder just for fun. Salt. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of salt. Maybe get me some salt at the store. I don't think I've ever run out of salt in my life. Oh my gosh! Black pepper. Nature seasoning in it. And then we're going to pour our beans. Oh my gosh. Get in there. Get in there. Oh Lord, I made a mess. It's okay. Okay, we got our beans. We're seasoned. I'm sneezing away. Ooh, I got it dirty where I tried to pour my beans everywhere. My bad. But remember, it ain't season until you're sneezing and the words of Mama Jill on the TikTok. So let's put our thing on. Make sure it's sealed. Um, make sure it's not over max full. I don't know what'll happen. I'm sure bad things will happen if it's over the max line. Um, but we're going to let it cook. I've got it set on. We're going to pressure cook for 45 minutes. And then it's going to be ready. And any tips on how to keep it clean. Like I feel like it just stays so dirty. Even though I clean it every little bit. It drives I me mean, nuts. It would probably help if I moved it out from under my cabinet. That has my flour in it. Because every time I open it. I feel like it gets flour. Okay. Alright. This one's a simple one. I'll get a bean bite. We're going to get a bean bite. How is going to try our soup beans? Pretty good. Okay, Hattie wants to redo her rating. What are we giving it? A 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Is it a chef's kiss or not? Let me get my on. Chef's kiss or not? Okay, I think she's just doing that to toot my own horn, but it's okay. She doesn't feel very good. Thanks, I love you. Bye. See, I would have never come up with any of that except the beans, and she seasons her beans a lot different for me. See what I mean by diversity? It gives everybody a new idea, and I hope Emily could inspire you to see what you could come up with for 25 bucks for five nights of dinners. And I'm going to be making the, I cannot remember what she called it, the tortillas and the veggies and meat. I'm going to make that one because she said my niece Kimmy devoured it. Devoured. Her name is McKinley, by the way. You probably heard her refer to her as McKinley. Everybody else calls her Kenny or Kimmy. It's just what we do. <laughs> so that's who I'm referring to when I say Kimmy. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a big old thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you Monday. Monday, I'm doing my own 
little grocery budget challenge. I've not did it in a long time. $45. You guys pick the budget. So that comes Monday. I will see you guys then. Bye. Love you. Remember as always, positive, be kind, be happy, and let others be happy. Enjoy your life, and I will see you in Planter Taters.